Hello everybody. Today I decided to do my makeup based on that of the character of Lara from the 2002 film adaptation of Dr. Zhivago. I just got done writing an essay on Russian modernist literature, so I decided why not make a video. I am at home and my webcam was having some difficulties, so I apologize for the inferior video quality. Dr. Shivago was a Russian modernist novel published in 1957. It was written by Boris Pasternak, who is a Russian author known primarily for his poetry. Dr. Shivago is his most famous prose work, so much so that a lot of people don't realize that he wrote any others. It was originally submitted for publication to the journal Novoy Mir, but it was rejected because it didn't conform to the standards of socialist realism that were expected at the time. Thankfully, a publisher in Italy was able to pick up the smuggled manuscript and was able to distribute it. The content of the novel itself follows a single hero and the significant people in his life. He is a physician, hence the name Dr. Shivago, and his name is Yuri. Yuri is an idealist and a poet in his spare time, almost to the point of mysticism, which also was quite common in Pasternak's day. He grows up in pre-revolutionary Russia, lives through World War I and the Bolshevik Revolution, and the story follows several periods in his life and focuses particularly on his relationship to a young woman named Lara, who becomes his muse and his lover. Boris Pasternak was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature the year after Zhivago was published, which enraged the Soviets even more, of course. The protagonist of the novel being a poet, Pasternak included at the end of the narrative a cycle of poems that Yuri Shivago was supposed to have written. This is Autumn, a poem from that cycle. My family all went their ways. I let my kith and kin depart. And now familiar solitude fills all of nature and my heart. Now we're at our cabin refuge. The woods are empty and forlorn. As in the song, the tracks and pathways are choked with grass half overgrown. The timbers of the wall keep watch and sadly fix us with their gaze. We gave no pledge to fight or conquer, so let us look death in the face. From one to three we'll sit at table, then you'll embroider, I will read, and by first light we'll scarce remember how we kissed ourselves to sleep. Dead leaves luxuriantly scatter, rustle recklessly in play, and let the cup of bitter bygones brim with the anguish of today. Delight, attraction, and devotion, let's melt into September's shrill, vanish in autumnal rustling, turn crazy, otherwise be still. Like falling tree leaves in the coppice, your dress is shed and cast away, and in your silken tasseled bathrobe, you throw yourself in my embrace. You're my last joy before the downfall, when living life is worse than pain, and beauty springs from acts of daring, and all this draws us close again. Have a good evening, everybody.